Hey everybody, it's John from Coding with John. Today we're gonna to go over something that I've seen bite so many developers and development teams that I've personally worked with. Something that probably all of you have used if you've worked with dates in Java before is simple date format. It seems to be just a very nice, simple, a way to deal with dates and getting them from strings and turning dates back into strings. And it is, it works great. Um, in normal, small, single threaded circumstances. But so I, what I've worked with them, uh, we are usually working on web applications, which are multi-threaded environments by default. You can take in a bunch of different web service calls at a time. So you have to, it's by default running in a multi-threaded environment. So th the simple date format class explodes in completely crazy, unpredictable ways when you are in a multi-threaded environment. And we're gonna go over the example of that here. Here's what you what we've got. We've got a just a simple class, simple date format is unsafe, with a shared date format object, uh, a simple date format. And here's the format, year, 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 month, month, date, right? This is whatever, this is the format. If you've done this before, it should look familiar. Even if you haven't, it should be pretty simple to see. Okay, I've got a date formatting thing. Um, excuse me, object is going to format a date like this, or take in a date that looks like this as a string and give you a date. So awesome, perfect. Um, so now we start our main method, and we're going to. What's actually going to happen here is we're going to take this string of a date of an actual date, and we're going to run ten threads at a time, just parsing that date. Just I want to parse this date a bunch of times but do it in a multi-threaded way. So I'm trying to do all of those at the same time. I'm trying to parse this date 10 times at the same time in parallel. So if you haven't worked with too much multi-threaded stuff in Java yet, that's okay. But what, but just briefly, what we're doing here is this executor service is going to be used to offer those 10 threads to us to use. So we're, we're creating a new fixed thread pool of 10. So this is a pool of 10 threads that we can grab from and this is just this runnable that we're defining here with this public void run method is just saying when I run this runnable, here's what I want you to do. And here we're going through a loop and 10 times running this runnable. So all of that to say what this program will do is 10 times it's going to uh, trigger this method in a new thread. And so those 10 threads are going to be running in parallel in kind of unpredictable ways. So, but all it's going to be doing is parsing the, this exact same date string 10 times and just printing it out. It, it parses this date string as a date, prints it out. If there's an exception, it goes, oh no, there's an exception and prints out the exception. And so that's it. You can just think of it as it's parsing this date in this format 10 times all at the same time, but all using this one date format object, not using separate ones. All, all of them are using this same object, this date format object. So let's run it and see what output we get. So cool. At first glance, it looks like this one may have worked. Okay, look, it, it, there's no exceptions. It parsed out dates and printed them. But if you look, there's some really strange behavior. So the first one looked great. Yeah, as you can see, this is, you know, um, October 17th, 2020 at 1234.51. And this first one is great. Saturday, October 17th, 2020, 1234.51. Cool. And it, and it also goes like that for a while here and it's fine. And then all of a sudden it says it's Wednesday, October 17th and 5100. And then it's, and then these are all okay. Let's run it a few more times, but that you wouldn't expect that to happen, right? So let's run a few more times. Oh, now we get an exception this time for an input string of something bizarre. Uh, the ones that worked, oh, those that seem to look okay. But it, it, kind of as you can see, each time we run it, we get different behavior. So this one, every, everyone seemed to work okay. So if you if this would have been our first run, we might have thought everything's great. But I'm going to keep running it. Mind you, all, all it's trying to do is print out the date that it creates from this date string. And this one's even stranger. There's, there's an exception. It's, oh, here's it successfully parsed it, but now it's trying to take an input string of an empty string. And it somehow came up with the year 17 here and it's Saturday and it's Monday and it's Sunday and it's different time. 
it's obvious you get completely unpredictable behavior here. And the reason for that is simple date format is not thread safe. You can't use it, a, a shared simple date format object across multiple threads that are using it at the same time and have them be guaranteed to work properly. The reason for that is due to some intricate, weird, old junkiness in the way simple date format parses dates. As it's trying to figure out what the date is in, in this format, it's, it's taking individual things that it comes up with and populating them in instance variables inside this date format. So what that means is essentially it's like once it decides, oh, this is the year, I'll put it in the year thing in, the, in this date format object. But in the meantime, some other thread is also parsing that date using, using the same date format object and messing up the calculations happening for the other running instance, for the other thread. So they're all stepping on each other's toes and tearing each other up because they're all sharing the same object. For many kinds of classes, if you have one same object like this that you're using across multiple threads, they're coded in such a way to be thread safe that they don't step on each other's toes. But simple date format is old enough. It's been around since God knows when in Java. So it's not thread safe. You can't do it like this. So what can you do to get around this hidden danger of thread safety and simple date format? Well, to begin with, this is such a... It's such a dangerous kind of bug because it's so quiet. There's nothing on here that, that calls out there. Oh my gosh, there's a problem. And, and unless you're, you know, if you're just running one or two or three threads at a time, you probably wouldn't run this into this very much. So for example, if we change this to only do this three times, we probably have a lot less of an of a opportunity to run into problems, although we're still running into it pretty many times here. But sometimes it seems to be okay, but just gives you wacky, dates. So you could like be running this in real code in production. Just every once in a while, you see some just wacky dates and you don't really know why. And it might be because of something like this. Whenever you see a shared simple date format object that isn't just created, used once and thrown away, flag it. It's a terrible idea. It's going to blow stuff up and it's going to cause you a lot of pain. So now let's go over what we can actually do to get around that. So number one, a simple change is just to, instead of using a shared simple date format object, just instantiate a new simple date format object every time you need to use it. So instead of having this private static final simple date format here at the top, just create a new one here whenever you want to do it. So it's creating its own simple date format here, and it's never going to step on anything else's toes, always using its own simple date format. It's only it's going to be operating in its own little tent. So now if we run it, as you can see, they're all perfect. And I can run it a whole bunch of times and we don't get any issues at all. But um, somebody might say that, well, that's a lot more like work for Java to have to create that each time. And that's, that's, it's false and it's true. Like it's in the big world of Java, this probably isn't that big of a deal to create this object. Nobody's probably ever going to notice that performance difference. But still, people are going to be like, oh, come on, that just looks bad. Why are, you, why are you creating that each time? So what you can do instead is there's other classes that are offered that are thread safe, that are pretty much interchangeable. One of them is called fast date format. So if we just want to change to use that, fast date format, and that's offered by... Um, it's offered by Apache Common Lang 3, so you're going to have to add that uh, jar to your project, or if you're using Maven, add it to your dependencies. Go online, you can download that jar, put it in your project, and you'll be able to use fast date format. Um, the only little difference with it is you, uh, instead of saying new fast date format, this is not a valid constructor, it doesn't work. So you have to do fast date format dot um, get instance, and then give it that pattern. That's the only difference there is. And so now we've got this date format and we've got to change this code back. So now it's the same. It's all using this shared fast date format object, but fast date format is thread safe. So now let's go ahead and organize imports and give this a shot. Oh, and we'll also go back to uh, hitting it hard with 10 threads at a time. And if you look, we, I can keep running it every time and Perfect results each and every time, no exceptions, no weird dates. 
So that's another great way to get around the problems with simple date format and multi-threaded environment. So if you were, if you happen to work in a company and see somebody using a simple date format in an in a environment that's multi-threaded, maybe a web application, maybe just some other kind of complex application that does multiple things at a time, if you ever see anybody using a shared simple date format object, red flags, call them out on it. You will be the savior. And if you happen to see any really weird behavior with dates, keep an eye out for people using simple date format. Look around in the code that you're working with and see if anybody is using simple date format in a shared way like that. If something is perhaps using a class level simple date format, that's probably a good candidate for what could be causing your hidden problems. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up if you got some value out of it. Give me a thumbs down if not, and tell me what you'd like to see in the future. So until next time, this is John with Coding with John. Thanks for watching. See you next time.